chance encounter. Every Tuesday, Grace pushes the snooze button on her alarm exactly three times, sleepily dresses, slurps half a mug of instant coffee, and jumps on the number 22 to work. But this particular Tuesday was a bright sunny day, and Grace awoke early. Wow, where did he come from? Grace is suddenly paranoid about her appearance. She tucks her hair behind her ears and discreetly pulls out a mini compact mirror from her purse. She ducks down. Her eyes widen as she sees her mascara has run, leaving black marks down her face. She quickly tries to wipe away. Adam sits with his hot drink, reading the same paper as Grace. I wonder if he ordered the same coffee as me. If he did, it could mean something, couldn't it? Grace gently rests her head in the palm of her hand and looks deep in thought. It could be like the start of one of them French films where two strangers meet over something stupid and end up falling madly in love after their first kiss. Adam takes a big stretch. His shirt rises slightly, displaying his muscular figure. Grace, stop it. You're going to start dribbling again if you're not careful. Shit, did he just see that? Adam looks over. He totally just saw that. Hello. Grace pretends she is looking away, but Adam catches her looking. Grace twirls her non-existent curls with her finger. Yeah, she was definitely looking at you. Adam is suddenly aware and becomes self-conscious. Okay, play it cool. Be a cool, mysterious stranger or whatever turns females on nowadays. Girls like that shit, right? Right. Adam subtly sticks his chest out and raises his chin to seem more masculine. Unaware, he looks like a complete idiot. Grace is aroused. Oh my god, those thoughts I've just had should be illegal in public places. She giggles to herself and goes off into a daydream again. Right. What the hell do I do next? Adam peers over. I know. I'll seductively pick up my hair from my right shoulder and in one swift movement, pull it to my left side. Adam watches. Then my neck will be bare and he'll be able to see my skin. Even deeper in thought. And this will make him think of sex. Smug that she manages to do this without failing, she smirks slightly and pretends to read her newspaper. Christ, she's got a long neck. He clearly wants me after that. I can be so sexy sometimes. So, why am I still single? Grace stares into her coffee cup and thinks that it really is time she got herself a plug. Besides, her mother was starting to worry. Adam has gone. A small object on Adam's table reflects the light and catches her eye. Adam's keys. Precisely 8.42 a.m., Adam glances in the window of the old cafe. He wishes that one day he could be one of the people inside, instead of one of the commuters rushing past. But, of course, this particular Tuesday was a bright sunny day, and Adam awoke 